Let's use Minitab 17 to make a line graph. So here, let me show you my data. I'm a hospital administrator at the moment, and I have been charged with looking at flu incidence rates. What percentage of our employees are getting the flu from flu season to flu season, and have any of our protocols actually helped in generally decreasing it? Of course, I could look at the data. I have data of the flu incidence rate. What percentage, although I have it as a proportion, of my employees have gotten the flu from the years 2002 through 2011, and I'm going to make it into a graph rather than just looking at the numbers. I'd like to use a line graph. Now, in Minitab, I can make a line graph. That's no problem, but it's one of the ones that it isn't exactly where I expect it to be. It is under graph, but if I go to graph, I'll see one all the way down here called line plot. That is not actually what I want. When I want to make a line graph where I have the dots connected by a line, but I want dots to indicate each point, I'm actually making a scatter plot. I'm making a scatter plot, but when we did other scatter plots, we used simple scatter plots. I'm actually going to use a scatter plot with connect line, which is going to put a line going from one dot to the next dot to the next dot to the next dot. So I'm going to do a scatter plot with connect line to make my line graph for a time plot like this and say OK. All right, now I want to decide what goes on which variable. So here, the years happen, and then I measure the flu incidence. Which one is the dependent variable? Which one is the independent variable? Could the flu incidence rate change because it changed from year to year? Or does the year change because the amount of flu changes? Well, obviously, the year is independent. 2002 is going to become 2003 whether anybody gets the flu or not. So the year is independent. The flu is dependent. So the flu will go in my y variable. The year will go in my x variable. And I'm going to say OK. And here we go. Minitab has made a scatter plot, but it has connected the dots with a line. So I have essentially a line graph. Now, I have some things I could do to this graph. Year is fine. I don't mind it saying year 2002 through 2011. But I would rather flu be a little more descriptive. So maybe I'll call it flu incidence rate. So I'll double click where it says flu. And here I'll add incidence rate and say OK. I'm going to double click there, change that title. I'm going to call this flu incidence rate among hospital employees. And if I were looking at this, I would say, have I had a protocol that's been super effective in diminishing flu from year to year? And the answer is not so much. It seems to bounce up and down a lot. It doesn't seem that anything I've done has actually made a whole lot of impact on it. So no, I don't think I have. By the way, just like with other graphs, I could double click to change these blue circles into orange triangles or purple stars, I mean all kinds of things. I could make the line thicker or thinner, make it a dotted line, change its color. There's all kinds of things you could do. And also like other graphs, when I'm done and I'm ready to save it so that I could use it in a different kind of program, I'm going to say File, Save Graph As, give it the name of the file I want, and instead of being a Minitab graph, make it probably a JPEG. But I could do something else, but a picture file. JPEG, PNG, TIFF, Bitmap, any of those could work. All right, that is a line graph in Minitab. I'm not actually going to save this one, but you certainly could.